Hi everyone, welcome to the Multi-Site Data Replication Cast. I'm going to talk about ZAP, Multi-Site Replication. We have previously seen how to write objects to the space. But what if we want to replicate our data across spaces in different data centers? This is where ZAP Multi-Site Replication comes in. ZAP Multi-Site Replication provides near real-time replication of massive data streams. It's ideal for disaster recovery and cloud bursting. It ensures data integrity and consistency via atomic propagation of local and distributed transactions. And data replication is done efficiently by using multi-channel parallel binary protocol. Multi-site replication architecture is quite simple. In order to replicate or receive data to or from other sites, an additional gateway component needs to be deployed. The gateway component consists of two processing units, the delegator and the sync. The delegator is in charge of outgoing replication, and the sync is in charge of incoming replication. Gateway configuration is done using Spring. The following space processing unit has two gateway targets, New York and Hong Kong. The gateway component has a delegator with two targets, New York and Hong Kong, and a sync which has New York at its source. The gateway lookup screen contains information about hosts and ports which the site will use for communication. In the web UI, we go to the data grid section. We see that we have London and New York spaces. Both currently have no entries. We're going to navigate to the gateways tab for London. And we see that it has two targets, Hong Kong and New York. New York is currently connected and Hong Kong isn't, since the Hong Kong site is currently down. What we want to do now is to write an object to the London space and see that it gets replicated to New York. In order to do that, we're going to run this simple program, which creates a message and writes it to London. OK, it's done. Now, we can go back to our UI. We should see that both sites have one entry each. Here we go. That's it. Thanks for watching.